Good afternoon, dear friends. This lecture marks the beginning of our study of electrical engineering theory. Before you is the lecture outline. In this lecture, we will attempt to understand electrical energy, recall familiar concepts from the physics course such as electric voltage and electric current, and define the conventional positive directions of electric voltage and current. We will discover that the existing definition of electric current has many shortcomings and conclude that in reality we don't truly understand what electric charge, electric current and electric voltage are. However, this will not prevent us from exploring the manifestation of electricity in our world. We will also learn that an electric circuit is what is an element of an electric circuit and how they differ from each other. Before the lecture, I ask you to subscribe to our channel so as not to miss the release of new lectures. Put likes if you like this lecture. I want to start with a strange confession for a teacher. I don't know what energy is, what electricity is, and what electrical energy is. No one knows this, so I am not very embarrassed. Modern science states that <clears throat> energy is a scalar physical quantity that generally measures the motion and interaction of all forms of matter. Energy neither arises from nothing nor disappears into nothing. It can only transition from one state to another state. The concept of energy unifies all natural phenomena into a wall, providing a general definition of the state of physical bodies and fields. In turn, it is considered that electrical energy uh, or electric power it is a form of energy that exists in the form of potential energy of electric and magnetic fields and the energy of the electric current. As you can see, all these definitions do not answer the questions what energy is in general and what electrical uh, energy is in particular. Perhaps someday humanity will provide answer to these questions and most likely they will be completely different from those present here. But until answers to these questions are found, we will move away from them and study how that incomprehensible electrical uh, energy manifests itself and how to predict the consequence of its manifestation. This is the subject of the our course called Theory of Electrical Engineering. Electrical energy can be easily and with minimal losses transformed into other form of energy. This is its significant advantage. Another advantage of electrical energy is that it can be easily and with minimal losses transported over long distances. And finally, the third advantage of electrical energy is that it can be easily divided into small portions. For example, in the power transmission line from a power station, uh, a very high voltage is received, hundreds of thousands or even million volts. 
However, the voltage in our electrical outlets in our home needs to be significantly lower, only 220 volts. This transformation is easily and efficiently performed at distribution sub substation using transformer. However, as you probably already know, in nature there is nothing that has only advantage. Advantages uh, in our lives always come with disadvantages. So, what are the disadvantages of electrical energy? The main disadvantage of electrical energy is the issue of storage. Yes, electricity is simply generated, simply transmitted and simply consumed. And problems do not arise when generation and consumption coincide in time. However, if we want to generate electricity first, but consume it at later time, then it needs to be stored and preserved. This is where the problem arises. Currently, humanity cannot create storage system with very large capacities or storage electrical uh, energy over an extended period. Typically, electricity is stored in batteries, which you can see on this slide. Other types of energy can be stored, such as potential energy in reservoir at a power plant. But it's uh, very expensive and very difficult. Batteries have relatively limited capacity. All batteries exhibit the phenomenon of self-discharge, in which the amount of store, uh, stored electrical energy decreases over time, uh, even when the battery is not connected anywhere. But electrical energy has more advantages than disadvantages. This is led to its widespread use. To study the action of electrical energy in electrical circuits, we will rely on concepts such as electrical current and electric voltage. You have already learned these concepts in your physics course. Therefore, here we will just recall what they are and provide some definitions I hope familiar to you. You have probably heard a lot about electric voltage and likely believe you know what it is. Do you? You are fortunate because in the world no one except maybe you knows what it is. Indeed, let's turn to the definition of electric voltage provided by Wikipedia. It states that electric voltage is a scalar physical quantity equal to the potential difference between two points in an electric field. Even better, quieting voltage can be represented as the integral along the path scale laid out between points A and B in the electric field from the projection of the field intensity vector onto the tangent to the path A. Clear? Only one thing is clear. All these definitions are nothing more than an attempt in scientific language to say who knows it? The phenomenon we call electric voltage indeed exists. Thanks to this phenomenon, electric charges move, creating electric current. We will talk about in it uh, later. However, modern science cannot explain the physical nature of this phenomenon 
just as it cannot explain what an electric field and what is electric charge. Therefore, we will not try to explain what voltage is, but will focus only on studying how it manifests and what it influences in electric circuits. To do this, we need to agree on which letter we will use to denote electric voltage uh, in diagrams and formulas. There are two options worldwide. The Latin letters U or uh, letter V. V most common, uh, the most common is the designation with the letter U. So we will use it. Electric voltage can be constant, meaning it does not change over time. For such constant voltage, we will use the capital letter U. However, voltage can be variable, meaning it changes uh, change in its value over time. In this case, to denote the instantaneous voltage at a given moment in time, we will use the lowercase letter U. The unit of measurement of voltage is the volt. One volt is uh, equal to the electrical potential difference that arises in an electrical circuit with a constant current of one ampere with a power of one watt. Well, what is electric current? Now we will talk about it. You already too. have an understanding of electric current. Electric current is a phenomenon that arises under the influence of electric voltage. Here is how electric current is defined by Wikipedia. Electric current is the order of directed movement of electrically charged particles in a substance or vacuum. We will return to this definition later when we discuss what is wrong with electric current. But uh, for now, let's talk about the quantity that characterize the phenomenon of electric current. Electric current is measured in amperes. To the note, a current that doesn't change over time, direct current, we will use the capital letter I. To denote the instantaneous value of current, with these changes uh, over time, we will use the lower current. As I have already mentioned, the voltage between mm, any two points in electric circuit is the potential difference of this point. If there is a voltage, it means the potential of these points are different. In one point, the potential is higher, and in the other, it's lower. If a certain point has a higher potential than another, its potential is considered positive. Accordingly, the potential of other point is considered negative. A point with a potential potential denoted by the symbol plus and a point with a negative potential is denoted by the symbol minus. For the conventional positive direction of voltage, we will take the direction from the point with a positive potential to the point with a negative potential as shown in this figure by the blue arrow. So, what direction of the current will be considered as positive? Despite the fact that uh, in the circuits we will study the charge carriers are electrons, we will consider the direction from point with higher 
potential uh, or positive potential point to a point with uh, lower potential negative as a conventional positive direction of the current. This positive current direction is shown in this figure by the red arrow. Note that the conditional positive direction of voltage and current are the same. We will return to this in our next lectures. Now it's time to find out what's wrong with the electric car. Remember, not long ago, we promised to delve into the traditional definition of electric current. Electric current is the ordered directed movement of charged particles in a substance or vacuum. This definition is repeated so many times that we involutionally consider it is a true in the last distance. Let's try to understand this definition in more detail. So, electric current is directed move. Yes. For now, let's not dwell of what exactly is movement. But if there is movement, we can talk about the speed of this movement. Let's talk about the speed. Imagine a very long power line several thousand kilometers long. Experiments show that when you connect a power source to one end of this line, the light bulb at the other end will flash almost instantly with a delay of a fraction of a second. Experiments show also that the speed of propagation of electric current is very high and uh, comparable to the speed of light. Furthermore, in the process of studying electrical engineering, we will learn that it has an order of magnitude of uh, hundreds of thousand kilometers per second. And we ourselves, when we come from home to the evening and flip the switch, don't notice any delay between the switch's operation and the appearance of light. However, the same experiments show that electrons, which are the carriers of charge in metals, move at a much lower speed. This speed is called the electron drift velocity and is approximately one tenth of millimeter per one second. This is 20 times slower than the speed at which a snail moves. The electric current in metals propagate at a speed close to the speed of light. Meanwhile, the speed of electrons within the metal is significantly lower. Can we, we then accept that the electric current is the directed movement of electrons? This contradiction once again emphasized what I said at the beginning. We do not know what is electric current, but we will be able to calculate the result of the action of this mysterious current in electrical circuits. What is an electrical circuit? Now it's time to talk about its Wikipedia truth. defines an electric circuit as a combination of interconnected conductors of electrical elements through which an electric current can flow. As we can see, an electric circuit consists of 
in individual electrical elements, which accordingly are its components. But what is an electrical element? Wikipedia defines an electrical element as a structurally completed product capable of performing its functions as part of an electric circuit. Again, we get then electric circuit is a set of elements and an element is part of this circuit. So, how you do you understand what an electric circuit and what is electric element? Let's consider a series of photographs in this slide. Let's start by examining the bottom left photo where an electric light bulb is shown connected to an outlet. Together, the light bulb and the outlet form an electric circuit, while individually the light bulb and the outlet are its elements. It's clear. And now, Let's gradually move away from the observation point and compassion a border view each time. In the second photo from the left, we see a room in apartment with several light bulbs and outlets. Thus, at this level, we can discuss the electric circuit of apartment with combination of light bulbs and outlets of its elements. Moving future away, in the third photo, we can see building on independent square in Kyiv. Each building has many apartments, each of which uh, can be regarded as an element of larger scale electric circuit, the circuit of the building at home. Continuing uh, our distance, in the fourth photo, we observe a panoramic view of nighttime key. At this level, we can talk about the electric circuit of city, where individual buildings are its elements. And in the fifth photo, a satellite image of uh, nighttime Ukraine is shown. The bright spots represent individual cities. Here we can discuss the electric circuits of a uh, whole country, the power system of country, which cities and villages as its elements. Finally, the last image depicts nighttime Europe. We can consider individual countries as elements of the electric circuit of Europe. Thus, each electric circuit can be an element of a larger circuit. This hierarchy continues and larger circuit, if needed, can be viewed as an individual element of an even larger circuit. This is no fundamental difference between a circuit and element. It depends on the conditions under which we consider the system. We will begin to study of electric circuit by examining uh, their individual elements in the next In lecture. this lecture, we learned that electric energy is a form of energy that exists in the form of both the potential energy of electric field and the energy of an electric current. Current and voltage are fundamental phenomena that characterize the operation of any electric circuit. 
voltage between two points is the differences or in electric potentials of these points. Electric current is the flow of charged particles moving through an electric conductor. Electric current is likely not, not uh, just the movement of charges. The concept of uh, current as the movement of charge is just a convenient explanation. In reality, we do not know what electric current is. In electrical engineering, it conventionally chosen that the assumed positive directions of voltage and current are from the point or terminal with positive potential to a point or terminal with negative potential. Electric circuits and electric elements are relative concepts. Any electric circuits can be considered as an individual element of a more complex electric circuit. We will discuss more about the elements of electric circuits and their properties in our next lecture. Thank you very much for your attention. Best wishes to all of you.